15 years later, Drake had a son. <gasps> Made it to the bottom. Okay. According to your signal, you're at the coordinates. Have you signed up our home? No. Not yet, anyway. You got any pinks from up there? Afraid not. Do I look All like right. I'm made of pinks? Copy that. Keep me posted. You got it. Jake's more of a JPEG guy, anyways. <laughs> hey, I might watch you down to a quarter tank. You want to come up? Nah, nah, I'll be fine. Can't be far. If you don't find it soon, I'm calling it. I'll find it. This right. is the slowest you move in the entire series, I believe. Yeah. It's, it's so relaxed. Yeah, it's really, it's really chill. Oh, I think I found it. Here it is. It's a padlock? Oh, yeah, you got an ancient padlock. Good job. Or maybe it's a, it's some, like, bishop's cigar cutter, I think. <laughs> maybe. Ah, uh, yeah, so Uncharted 4 has a decent amount of swimming in it, but it's a lot nicer than 3's because you can actually, like, stay submerged while in 3 you would just go down for a couple seconds and immediately come right back up. Whoa, look at that face. Yeah. It just came out of nowhere. Uh, oh, what is this? Oh. That's just local wildlife. Put that back. <laughs> yeah, it's it's actually uh, getting ready to hatch. There's a cocoon. <laughs> you don't want to see what comes out of that thing. That's for an aquarium, not a museum. Come on. Hey, I got something here. What is it? No rust, right color. Maybe it hit the rocks, tore off before tumbling. Hey, you're mumbling. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it looks like a piece of our wreck. Must be close by. You're teasing me now, Drake. You're teasing me. This wreck was from the ancient pirate Mephibibnum. <laughs> or, or not. Ah, there you are. I found it. All right. How's it look? Uh, it's beat up, but intact. Oh, this is a great level if you just want to relax. <laughs> I could use it after this week. Well, the axles are in good shape. I'd say we use them to lift the whole thing. Sounds like a plan. So just another like minor change that's in Uncharted 4 is that there's a lot of extra things that you can interact with. Oh. They don't like make you progress, but just a lot of extra stuff you can like look at and examine. Both in stuff you can pick up and rotate and just stuff like this. What do we got here? All right, I can see the cargo. Looks like most of the crates are here. Can you get an accurate count? I'm gonna have to go inside for that. Stand by. I love the animation on his flippers. All right, here we go. It's real good. Mm -hmm. Some high poly flippers. They're prehensile, so they can pick up the treasures. As Drake gets older, he needs to develop new treasure there. gathering technology because his body can't keep up. Whoa! <laughs> Morning, fellas. All right, I'm in. Uh, looks like a lot of it's still strapped down. Let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, by my count, we're shy two crates. I'm gonna go round them up. Hold on. How about you come up first, get a fresh tank? Uh, I live my life on the edge. <laughs> a crate. Aha! Found one. Let's use your superhuman strength and bend that metal. Ugh, crap. The lift the trailer, the trailer, then come back for the other two crates. It seems a lot easier. First, then we'll lift the trailer up. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you see, that's why you get paid the big bucks. <laughs> yeah. Jameson and I, we, we seem like one of a kind. <laughs> uh, crate wouldn't have drifted this far. Hermit crab took it. Real big ass hermit crab. Yeah. So uh, Uncharted 4, the supernatural enemies in this game are going to be very large crabs. Uh, mm -hmm. It's a race of crab people. I, th I think that's from like the Code of Hammurabi or something. Yeah, that, <laughs> that makes sense. Ha! Found the other crate. One down, one to go. Secure it in the trailer. We're nearly at your position. All right, see you soon. So another thing in this game is that there are areas where you have to do some stuff and you can do them in different orders and the dialogue does change just to reflect the order in which you're doing them so like before we found that first crate or even open up this cargo container we could have just picked up that crate mm -hmm. it's not anything significant but they did record a lot of extra vo just for doing right. things in different orders <laughs> good timing 
We're right above you. Sling's on its way down. Uh, no, actually, because when you find the crate first, it's like, oh, I have to go get this later after I check out what's going on in there. Oh. So then you have to go back a second time. Down. That's dumb. You know you're looking for crates. You find the crates. You pick it up. Nathan. <laughs> How many times did you get punched in the face? Was it too many? Okay, Was it too many times? Position. Look up the trailer. We'll raise it up a bit for you. Okay, got the cable. I'm gonna try looping it around one of the axles. There's a That's fair amount hard. of using cables yeah. in this game too, and you actually do wrap them around yourself rather than just pressing a button. It's actually kind of strangely satisfying. <laughs> well, it's like a grappling yeah, hook, one. but for machinery. All right, you watch your oxygen now. Yeah, it's fine. Yoink. I'm also a really big fan of that sound of like high tension cables vibrating underwater. It sounds so cool. Yeah. Also dangerous. And that's two. Okay, trailer secure, ready to go. All right, get clear. We'll lift it up. Ready when you are. And up we go. Oh, okay. This sounds like death. Someone's going to die. Okay. That enough? Yeah, plenty. Just don't drop it on me. <laughs> no promises. If you drop it on me, my vision might go black and white okay. for a little bit, so. <laughs> Got the other crate. I'm gonna strap it in with the others. It doesn't really hurt when my vision does that. It's just weird and disorienting. Please don't do it, Jameson. You wouldn't like it either. Yeah. Oh, they're so well arranged. Oh my goodness. I know. I just, love it. Come on, come on. They should just disappear like a hey, Tetris when you do this. <laughs> oh boy. All cargo present and accounted for. And with five minutes of oxygen to spare. Jesus. Hey, maybe you should hang out then. See if you can find some other treasures down there. <laughs> nah, I'm good. Wanna ride up? These treasures are gonna be something Love really one. boring, Let like airbags or something, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, there actually is one other treasure here. Uh, it's an old watch. Sure. Better than an airbag. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it has some sort of value, at least. I don't know about that padlock, though. <laughs> okay, I'm in position. Get me out of here, will you? You got it. Going up. What exotic place are we in this time? <laughs> Look at that beauty. How you feeling? A little better now that I'm out of that river. I'm gonna stink like fish for a week. <laughs> All right, we're gonna come to you. Hang on. Hang on. Why? Why is the Hudson River full of such beautiful rock What's formations? <laughs> so you were lamenting there was no wetsuit Drake, but thankfully. All right. Yeah, I'm. I'm very happy. He's very wet. I expect this. I expect this video will give me everything I've been dreaming of. So old. Where'd all those lines come from, Drake? <laughs> good to have you back, Drake. Yeah, it's good to be back. You've Comes got a face like graph paper. What happened? Here you go. <laughs> you picked up nice. one too many treasures. Eventually, one of them's gonna be cursed. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, this tank's kind of light. I'm just making your job easier, right? So yeah, uh. No exotic civilizations this time around. Unless you think this bridge is exotic, maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, but yeah, that cargo container we picked up. Oh. It just fucking fell off that bridge. <laughs> <laughs> They're fixing it now. Um, how we doing down there? Wondering how you Did even you derail it? just one cargo container like that to make it crash through. It's nuts. Uh, but there's also another new collectible in this game. Optional conversations, just like in The Last of Us. Huh, okay. Drake, gotta say that wasn't the slowest dive I've ever sat through. <laughs> Hold on, is that a compliment? Because I'm stunned. 
Nah, you know what's stunning? Your smell. Like away. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. I kind of like it. Reminds me of your mom. <laughs> That's cold, man. I'm gonna tell her you said that, too. Wait, you're saying my mom smells like ancient treasure? Because, Drake, I've always thought you smelled like ancient treasure. <laughs> I've never actually encountered any. I just kind of assume that's what it would smell like. Your mom smells like the British Museum. My man. <laughs> I don't know if that's good or bad, but it's true. Thank you? How'd we do? How do you think? Full recovery? Every last bit. <laughs> Making the rest of us look bad. Making the rest of you look good. I'm the mascot. I just strut around this wetsuit all day. Oh man, I want Drake to be in like local television commercials. <laughs> oh shit. That's not a treasure, that's an arcade <laughs> token, Drake. What are you doing? It's shiny, it's treasure. That's the law. <laughs> hey, how much longer are you gonna be? We just got this thing out of the water. Give us an hour or so. We'll wrap it up as fast as you can. We got shipping vessels waiting. Don't you worry. Dick. Just imagine Drake's salvage commercial coming on between the mattress store and whatever oh lawyer does ads in in your area. <laughs> Come on down to oh, Devious right. Drake's Salvage Company. Wait, maybe Devious ain't a great name. I'll workshop this. Let's wrap this up later. <sighs> My hero. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Let's go see what you brought us. Hey, so how about you let someone else be point man next time? You've earned a break. No, no thanks. Take a dive over being at the office any day. Yeah, well, uh, either way, it's gonna be a while to the next dive. What are you talking about? What about Thursday's job? Mm -mm. Oh, come on, no. Got underbid. You gotta be kidding me. Hey, competition's tough. Let's see here now. Care to do the honors? What is it? What yeah, sure. is it? Thanks. Come on, Furbies. <laughs> Tickle me Elmo dolls. This better be the most mundane bullshit. Come on. Wow. Look at that. We struck copper. <laughs> <laughs> well, you'd be surprised how much this stuff is worth. Clients paying good money for the full cover. Sure you don't want to just melt it down, make some pennies? <laughs> Drake, you on, know that's mostly celebrate. zinc. Don't be Which silly. Me. Far hopping with you guys? <laughs> no, no, no. Not unless there's hazard pay. Uh, if it's all the same to you. I think I'm just gonna do the paperwork and uh, get home and crash. A rain check, though? All right. Suit yourself. Hey, good work today. Thanks. Copper. Anyways, back at Devious Drake HQ. <laughs> <laughs> he was supposed to get the name approved, but he already ordered the letterhead. <laughs> hey, hey, Nate. Nate, hold on. Hey, what are you doing here? Uh, I got a present for you. Present? Yeah. What's this? I got some news from my contact about that wreck off the coast of Malaysia. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, the ship's intact. Yeah? Cargo's right for the piggin. You are a persistent one, I'll give you that. And... All the money came through for the equipment, too. We are all set. Except, uh, my best guy. The guy I trust for the job, the only one. He, he's got cold feet. My feet were never warm to begin with. And tell me, this contact of yours? Did you get the permits? No, he did not get the permits. Can't no one get the damn permits? Of course not. But, Nate, don't you see that works in our favor? No permits means no competition. The ship is ours. No permits means no go. Is this Nathan Drake Nate, or somebody, like some weird doppelganger? This is retirement money. Drake never came back from Uncharted 3, I think. I think a Jin took his place or something. Law-abiding Drake is a, is a new turn for the character, I'm sure. Listen, I have to pass. And trust me, so should you. Okay, just take it with you. Humor me, I'm not gonna change my mind. Well, then don't hurt to sleep on it, does it? Say hi to Carla and the kids for me, okay? Right. No pressure, Nate. But think about it. I'm gonna go home and do legal things. Goodbye. I'm going to obey the speed limit and park at every stop sign. You heard me. Park. You really did your homework on this one. All waist high things I could vault over and punch somebody in the face. I don't even look at them anymore. Narrow down the search area. It would make a hell of a find. 
Son of a bitch. <laughs> no, no, no way. You are going with the others. How many treasure hunts has Jameson found? <laughs> Nate, please. Find treasure again. I don't even know who you are anymore. How much equipment has Jameson paid for that you're not using? Maybe that's why your company's in trouble. Now the mystical civilization of... Suburbia. <laughs> oh no, I can see it all crumbling before my eyes this very instant. What sort of mystical hokum lies at the core of suburbia? <laughs> but uh, yes, in Nate's attic, there's a lot of stuff. And uh, hey, finding all the collectibles from the previous three games has finally paid off. Climbed your big brother some years back. A shitload of the actual collectibles from Uncharted 1 through 3 are just all stirred about his attic, and you can look at all of them. <laughs> well, not all of them, but a lot of them. Hey, remember this one? This is from Uncharted 1. Yee. One of the stranger things I've collected along the years. Yeah, you don't say. <laughs> Maybe I should put this one in a box, just in case <laughs> guests come over. You know, Nathan, what if you have kids one day? You're just going to leave that lying around the house? That's terrifying. That bug-eyed treasure on the top there, I think, is the last treasure you get in Uncharted 2, I think. Oh, but, yeah, uh, oh, look, the Sir Francis Drake box. <laughs> <laughs> a Spanish doubloon found in a German U-boat in the middle of a jungle. Who would have thunk? It even came from upriver. I don't, don't even know. Don't you I, start. Don't you I start. I don't with even me. know what I was saying when I said that. I just wanted. I was too amazed. Uh, yeah, but we also have the Shangri La box. <laughs> I love that these are just casually put away in boxes with Sharpie marker. Well, it's when he had to do his taxes that year. You yeah. Know, it's <laughs> a lot of forms. Sir Francis Drake takes a bullet for Sully. Aw. Oh, what is this? <gasps> oh, look at us. It's the ending of Uncharted 1. Oh, wait, who took the picture? Maybe they had a tripod. Well, they had a lot of treasure, too. They probably propped the camera up on that. Sure, sure. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Uncharted 4 is interesting that one of the other influences from The Last of Us is that while it still has a ton of crazy set pieces and, you know, a lot of action, has a lot more slower character-driven moments. Mm-hmm. Shambhala. <laughs> oh, what is this picture? Oh. Miss you, pal. Oh, my good, good pal. Oh, Tenzin. Nate and Tenzin, aw. <laughs> Where's the hearts? <laughs> Where's the hearts? Where's the hearts? Nate, you go fix that mistake right now. Uh, so Uncharted 4 has the slowest opening out of all the games. I don't say that in a bad way. It just takes it takes its time to establish a lot more stuff than the previous games did. And also, hey, look, it's the winter coat he <gasps> got from the Sherpa village from Uncharted 2. I love that coat. Nate, put on that coat. You look so good in it. Also a Borneo box, also from Uncharted 2. <laughs> yeah, I love he just keeps that coat right there. I bet he still wears it during the winter. Everybody just catches him out of the corner of their eye and wonders what's up at the grocery store. <laughs> so many men killed each other for a piece of this. Also, I think this one's crazy. It's the sap from the tree from the end of Uncharted 2. Nate has like a legit scientific like find here. Just <laughs> buy some fucking books. This thing makes you live for a long ass time if you eat it. Mm -hmm. You become like superpower. Yeah. Nate. I actually know Nate, keep this here next to these books. I don't think anyone needs this power. Just keep it as a little doodad he can shake because it looks cool. I like his books. Yeah. Got some good ones. Oh, the T.E. Lawrence box. Sure, sure. Sir Francis and his elaborate puzzles. If you look to the left behind his hand, there's that little dog too. <laughs> the dog was the best treasure. The dog was the best treasure, I think. Now this was a crazy ride. You mean the hotel? <laughs> mm. Another lifetime, Chloe. Uh, this was a crazy itemized bill. Uh, so yeah, just a little letter sent from Chloe uh, to Nate. 
uh, asking like, hey, if you ever want to be, you know, like a crazy criminal again, hit me up. <laughs> <laughs> but no, Drake lives by the law now. I tried training a spider monkey to do your job, but it just wasn't tall enough. <laughs> yeah. It's really the only problem. <gasps> Not really my style anymore. It's all three of his belt buckles from the previous three games. <laughs> So yeah, he said, not my son anymore. Nate does not wear a ridiculous belt buckle in Uncharted 4. <gasps> He's grown out of them. Oh. I do not need this horseshoe belt buckle anymore. I'm not a cowboy. I'm a grown-up adult man. This is incredible. I also appreciate that you spent so much time in your attic, the sun has set. Yeah. Oh, There's some nice houses here, though. Oh, yeah. A anytime uh, the mortgage payment's coming up, he just sells another one of the treasures. <laughs> yeah. What is this box? <gasps> yeah. Thanks for nothing, St. Dismas. You jerk. Penitent thief, huh? <laughs> Who needs one of those in their life, yeah. right? <laughs> right? <laughs> CM. All right. Well, we've been looking at stuff for a little bit. There's actually one other interesting thing here. This box here with the note sent to Marissa is the singular reference to the PlayStation Vita Uncharted uh. game. <laughs> Marissa is the lady he's like partners with in that game. So I love that they actually referenced it, even though Naughty Dog did not make it. Oh, wait, what is this? Yeah. Are you ready for the best, but also saddest thing? Oh dear. Here they come. Take cover. I'm surrounded. Oh my god, an enemy. Bullseye. <laughs> Take that. <laughs> All right. This is magic. And that. Eat plastic. <laughs> eat business. plastic. <laughs> gotcha. No Kitty got wet. <laughs> like a pro. Yeah, bring it. Oh, no, no, I'm out of ammo. No, no, you've got to put the coat on a coat rack and then just punch it in the face. Oh, it's Lazarevich. So long. <laughs> Are you coming down to eat? Yeah. Yeah, I'll be right there. This globe has proper globe physics. As the world turns. Time's over. I love that it turns on the action music. It's yeah. the best. It's one of my favorite things in this game, is that little bit. It's so sad to me. <laughs> <laughs> Nate, clean up your toys. That's a mess now. Yeah. Elena's gonna go upstairs to the attic. She's gonna slip in a ping pong ball and she's gonna break her damn neck, Nate. Blue rain! <laughs> Also, there's this pill bottle over here. Uh, we're actually going to go into photo mode to peep this thing, because I'm curious why this is here. Uh, this bottle... Well, I'm pretty sure the uh, washing machine broke its leg and needs some painkillers. Blood pressure tablets, and it's a really old-looking bottle, too. Is it Sully's medication? Did Sully leave his heart pills behind or something? <laughs> it, it, they came with the place. Yeah, maybe. Previous owner. <laughs> And you never know when you might when you might need blood pressure medication. <laughs> yeah. Again, the cursed treasure Nate's got has given him some serious afflictions. <laughs> uh, I love being able to look through Nate's fucking house so much. Even as a kid, I was always the person who was like way into video game characters, but always wondering like, what did they do in their normal lives? Mm -hmm. Imagine Sephiroth's bachelor pad. Yeah. Just imagine totally. it. Can you? Can you really? Hmm, maybe. Uh, we're just going to keep looking at this mirror for a while. Let's check ourselves out. Just I do not mind the view. It's a little bit of a status check. How's Drake doing? <laughs> he seems to be all right. <laughs> I think Drake's doing okay, but let, let's do one more, one more check. Drake, how you do, how are you feeling? You doing okay? All right. 
<laughs> I think he's doing pretty good. I think he's in a good mood, maybe. Yeah, he, he had a good dive. He recovered a bunch of copper. That, yep. Mark that one for the win column. Yeah. All right, let's take a better look outside here. All right. He was walking his dog. There's a station wagon. Of course there is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's a picture of Elena. And, oh, what is this? Wedding pictures! <gasps> oh, I'm so happy. Sully's the best man. He sure is. And also, <laughs> he's standing up in the wedding. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's a beach wedding, too. Sully's crying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, me too. <laughs> oh, my God, I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, that is a good one. Oh. That looks like a fucking rad wedding, though. Oh, I ever wanted us to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew you were going to like this chapter. <laughs> I've been through so much. <laughs> And it's so good now. They've got a life and a home. <laughs> and, and so many stairs. They have a lot of stairs. Oh my god, they even have a fucking Cintiq tablet. They're fucking set. <laughs> and oh look! Journalistic Excellence Award for Elena. Aww. For covering Larizovich or something after? I don't know. A distinguished prize from the, the Department of Journalism. Mm-hmm. She's got a lot of awards. Nice, and also, yeah. Uh, they have a nice fucking house because they have a total of three goddamn bathrooms in their house. <laughs> oh, playing some peekaboo here. Oh, who's that? Is it Drake? I don't know. Uh, and of course, since uh, Elena was a photojournalist... Uh, she, she's still doing that work. So what are these post-it notes about? Adjust the beach photo. It's blown out. <laughs> Opening is strong. Finding matching photo. Nice. And of course, she also collects old cameras over here. What's this? Uh, we really need to go on another vacation. Just multiple photos. I mean, they've, they've been to Africa. They went to the farmer's market down the corner, <laughs> I guess. Yep. I mean, those look so, like some really nice produce. I mean, mm -hmm. gotta get them. Been too long. Yeah, it's been too long since our Norway Africa vacation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, Drake. You were fucking living the life. Oh, what is this, though? Is this what you're working on? Curious adventurer. <laughs> My God. The the other families in the neighborhood must hate them. Oh yeah. Oh totally. my god. Just always talking about the time they went to Nepal <laughs> and that time a train exploded in Nepal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, we know you went to a Sherpa village high up in the mountains. We know. <laughs> Visit the Grand Palace and the City Pillar Shrine. Also, uh, everybody, please appreciate the way this book fucking flops. That is one floppy book. That is one perfectly floppy book. You can estimate the page count just from the way that book flops. Yeah, I wonder if, like, the person who, like, was responsible for, for getting that looking right, like, had a book of that size and just flipped it over and over just at their desk all right oh, oh. look at all these pictures oh <laughs> <laughs> i love how lived in this place is like this yeah. is a home for two people with full-time jobs like straight up you were up there a long time well i was researching something oh is that what we're calling it these days i was Hey, would you mind grabbing the food? I'm just wrapping up here. Oh, yeah, sure thing. The Thanks. detail is so fucking accurate. I'm like blown away by it still. Mm -hmm. Also, hmm, we have a choice. Beer or orange soda? Ooh. To be honest, I'm more of an orange soda dude. There we go. I'm sure Drake would be as well. <laughs> 
Uh, so, you know, there's some dude who made a game called Soda Drinker Pro. Well, guess what? Naughty Dog just up their game. Bam! Press the triangle button. You can drink a soda. <laughs> I, you could not do that in any of the other games. No, this you is could innovation. Not. You could. Hey, I got a spice rack like that. Oh, nice. I think a lot of people got a spice rack like that. Yeah, I don't have a spice rack yet, but I just have really fucking deep cabinets, so I gotta put my spices somewhere. Oh, yeah, let's just chill out, just drink our soda for a little bit. Mm. Well, oh, where are Wash these our goes? ditches eventually. Maybe next week. Whatever. Take. Take car to shop. Damn hybrid. <laughs> so Nate and Elena, Nate is the black ones, Elena's the red ones. Nate's asking Elena to send him the sexy India photos. Hey. And also, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck? Um, I don't know how much. I don't know. They never fin they never figured it out in their notes. <laughs> Elena's got to postpone jury duty. That sucks. Jury duty sucks. I served on a jury once. It was interesting, but I never want to do it again. So that's why you should never do crimes around champagne. Yeah. Because Chip will just instantly <laughs> declare you guilty to get out of there as quick as possible. Uh, yeah, I need, to, I need to do more of my Let's Plays. Whoa. Nice throw. Hey. All right. So, man, it's just... They get a lot of use out of their sticky notes, man. Do they ever talk? Don't forget to take out the recycling, thanks. Do they ever talk? <laughs> I hope so. I mean, all their photos look super adorable. I hope it's not just some kind of smokescreen for a rocky relationship. <laughs> <laughs> look, we leave our adorable wedding photos out everywhere, so everybody thinks everything's okay. You're getting too real right now. You're getting way too real. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Let's just get back to them being cute. <laughs> I bet they do a podcast about travel. Aw, oh, choo-choo, here comes the dinner. And... <laughs> Done. Okay. Oh! Finish it? Yeah. Oh. You know, it's probably too long and full of typos, but that's what editors are for, right? <laughs> God, I'm starving. It looks good. Mm-hmm. So, how was your day? What? Hmm? Got none of that. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How was your day? Oh, it was fine. Mm hmm Typical day in paradise. Mm hmm I, uh, I got to pull a bunch of garbage out of a river. Mm hmm Yes. At least you got to go for a swim. <laughs> Did you find any exciting garbage? Oh, some brilliant stuff. It was a, um, early 21st century truck we got. <laughs> Apparently the natives called it a semi. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> so... so it, it, boring stuff. Tell me about the article. It was also the first video game, I think, where they well, made eating look it real. Out this <laughs> it looks very fucking convincing to me. In Bangkok, but I don't think the magazine is going to like the angle that I'm taking because everyone immediately commented about how rude the smog was, that it was like shocking. Uh, oh, Nate. The lost civilization of something. Smogtopia. Sm Smogtopia. The should get here via some form of transportation that's on fire. Uh, I'm, the ancient civilization's falling apart, Nate. You're missing out. <laughs> Nate, come back. No. Ah. What? Where are you? I'm in here being stabbed with a fork. Oh, really? Uh, what? Just keep going. It was, it was interesting. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. What's my article about? What? what? This one? <laughs> Dialogue choices. They're just they they're just for flavor. They don't change anything, but they're fun anyways. It's about, you know, the uh, lost city of Bangkok. Not not of Bangkok. Lost city near Bangkok. In or about the city limits of Bangkok. <laughs> oh, wow. I'm sorry. No, it was valiant. It I was, was in the really ballpark, right? In a different state, but yeah, you were in a ballpark. <laughs> Jameson asked you about that Malaysia job again. Jameson always asked me about the Malaysia job. Look, Nate, I really think that you should take it. Go to Malaysia! You know what? I don't want it. 
Really? Yeah, I mean, he doesn't have the permits. And we agreed we're not going to take that kind of work anymore. It's okay, just not worth it. it. It doesn't sound that risky, all right? If it's just a permit. No way. You could call Sullivan. You haven't but seen him Elena, in about two years. Look, could we please drop this? Okay, I just don't want you to not take it because of me. I'm not taking it because of me, okay? Look, and it's fine if I haven't seen Sully in two years. He's immortal anyways. <laughs> he'll be around. When he needs his heart pills, he'll come around. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead That's why it's in there, so you have to yeah. see him one of these days. No, you did yeah. him last night. No, you cooked. I clean. It's fine. I mean, at least at least uh, let me let me try to earn it or, or something. Let me um, play you for it. You'll play me for yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your little TV game thing. I bet I can beat your high score. You think that you can beat my high score on my TV game thing? Yeah, I think you're scared now. You don't even know what it's called. I don't need to know what it's <laughs> called. I've seen you play. It's right. jumping and running, and I have a natural talent oh, for that. Really? So what do you say, chicken? Is it a bet? Oh, wow. Okay, cowboy. All right, so I found this fucking video on YouTube just a couple of okay. days ago, and Watch you would not believe camera. that in the year 20 goddamn oh, 16, right. somebody's still doing a fucking camera let's play. <laughs> Is this it? No, it has to load. Load? Yes. Like, it's not even on center or anything. A really There's a bunch time. of shit. You, you like, the no top patience. left of the screen's clipped off and everything. On. You expect it to... Okay, there we go. <laughs> Crash Bandicoot. Is there a problem? No. How do you do no, a blind just, LP uh, of Crash Bandicoot? Like, you, uh, wh what are go. the story twists we need to see the raw Push reaction the for? <laughs> I don't know, man. Okay, so you want to run towards the camera. Yeah, I can read Road the screen, the lady. Come Got on. It. And the circle button is your spin attack. Spin attack. Yeah, press X to jump. Which one's X? The right thumb. Got it. You'll want to jump over all the pits and the obstacles. Come on, that's like my thing. Okay, run I like that the camera the isn't even Why like exposed correctly, so everything's all bloomy and shit too. <laughs> I did nothing to this boulder. <laughs> I mean, at least there's a co-commentator like kind of giving him advice, so he's not just dying repeatedly all the time. But still, I'm, I'm really impressed how this guy thinks that running from a boulder is like his thing when he's just some like oh, CrossFit asshole. Happened? You fell in the pit. I don't know. How do I uh, climb back up? You're dead. Well, that's not real. I mean, like, if you look at his Let's Play channel, he has, like, this whole gimmick doing CrossFit while doing LPs, and it's just fucking obnoxious to shit. should have done one of those. At least it's an angle. It's 2016. You can fucking get an Elgato for, like, $150 or something. I saw your wedding photos. You went to the goddamn beach. You could buy an Elgato. Watching? I watched it. What is that thing? A fox? A bandicoot. Looks like a fox. It's like a fox in jeans. Okay, smash the boxes. Why is a fox smash? Fucking everybody's just trying to get on the Let's Play money now. Like, you have these people who don't even give a fuck about video games, clearly. What? Well, WB didn't even produce this one. What, what is your aim? <laughs> yeah, who's paying you this fucking time? There's no CrossFit equipment in this one, so it's not the people making that shit. I'm sure you're getting paid off by them, too. A bandicoot? No, but I'm sure they don't wear sneakers. Ow! Oh, that had to hurt. It did probably hurt. Oh, yeah, but they wear That's jorts? Nice. Good call. You gotta make it count. Oh, I so do this. Good, good. There you go. Also, another fucking weird thing is, like, there's all these Let's Plays on his channel, but they're all, like, linking okay, to fruit. his fucking salvage company <laughs> website. <laughs> what? doesn't even have anything to do with so video games. So that's who sponsors this. Uh, people who make literal garbage come out of this. <laughs> yeah, which, I mean, I yeah, guess it makes it, sense. This video is fucking trash, it too. It follows, so, you know. for sure. Oh, that poor fox. Bandicoot. But anyways, if you want to go see more of his videos and make, fucking make fun of him, it's DeviousDrake69 on YouTube. What? Is that it? You asked for it. Anyways, oh, that segment actually is pretty cute. I like it a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I probably had it. You can give it another shot. Come on, double or nothing. My car could really use a good cleaning. Really? really? You're going to start yeah. the smack talk There's now? There's this mode called easy mode. I just switch it. Wow. It's way no, easier on no, Just keep mode. talking. Keep talking. What are you going to do? I'm, I'm warning you. What are you going to do? I'm warning In real life, what hey, can you do? I'm Show me. You. What can you I'm do in real you. life? What do you think about that? Huh? <laughs> hey, are you happy? Yeah, of course. You? 
Uh. Um? <laughs> really? Come here. <laughs> 